Greetings. Welcome to Man Cave Meals. Today I'm going to do a little bit of a product review on a new toy that I bought. Uh, this is the Weber Go Anywhere Charcoal Grill. It's a portable charcoal grill. Uh, I really like it and I just wanted to show you guys what it is and uh, a little bit about it and what it can do. I think I like this grill a lot better than the Weber Smoky Joe's. So let's have a closer look. One of the things I really like best about this grill is its portability. These legs that fold up over the top hold the lid on and allow you to pick the grill up and uh, makes it really easy to carry it with you. And when you're ready to cook, you fold these legs down and they fold up right underneath and raise your grill up off of your cooking surface. And as you can see, on the back side here, there's a little clip that folds over and holds the legs together and it keeps the legs sturdy where the, where the grill won't tumble on you. And on the front and back side, we have air vents. We have a sliding adjustable air vent where you can adjust the airflow into the grill. Has that feature on both sides. The Go Anywhere also has dual air vents on the top for airflow control. You can adjust both air vents during the cook. And on the inside, we have a nice, decent sized cooking grid that measures 15 inches wide by 10 inches uh, deep. So it gives you plenty of room here. You could cook three or four steaks on this, or three or four burgers, or a, or a whole pack of hot dogs. And it's got a nice heavy duty Weber charcoal grate that sits right in the bottom to put your charcoal on. And this grill, if you're like me, if you like to keep your grill clean, you can put foil, very easily put aluminum foil in the bottom of the grill to keep the grease off the bottom. The other thing I like about this rectangular layout is it's a lot easier if you want to set up for direct and indirect cooking on a small grill. You can put charcoal on one side and leave your other side open for uh, indirect cooking or just keeping something warm while you're cooking. And the grill looks to be very durable. I've only cooked on it once so far. I've cooked a pack of hot dogs uh, just, to, just to try it out. But uh, tonight we're going to cook a couple burgers on it. And this, one of the reasons I like the small grill is I do a lot of cooking for just one or two people and this grill will allow me to do that you know cook simple stuff without having to fire up one of the larger grills and also it'll use less charcoal in the process so that being said uh, we're gonna prep some burgers and we'll cook a few burgers on this grill to show you what it's what it can do okay I've got some charcoal ready another great aspect of this grill is the lid the lid's got two catches on it where you can just hang it from the back side of the grill there. As you can see here, I've got charcoal over one side and I've got it open on the other. So we're going to cook. We're going to start out with two burgers right over the coals. And we're going to let them cook and then we'll be back. Okay, these are ready to flip. We'll get underneath those guys and flip them right over. And we'll close them back up and keep going. Okay, I got two of them that are about ready here, so I'm going to move them over to the indirect heat side of the grill. Keep them good and warm. My girlfriend and I like our burgers done two different ways, so we have to improvise here. So we're going to put two more on and cover those back up and keep on cooking. Okay. Time for one more flip. And then we'll come back and put a little cheese on these guys. One other note of interest. Uh, you can pick this grill up and move it while it's, while it's cooking with the side handles. But uh, these Weber side handles are this plastic glass alloy material of some sort on the new ones. And these handles do get a little bit hot, so I recommend if you want to pick up the grill and move it while it's cooking to get a rag or a, 
oven mitts or gloves or something in order to uh, keep yourself from burning your hands and you definitely don't want to drop the grill so uh, that's just one other note of interest okay our burgers are ready so we're gonna put a slice of cheese on two of these and uh, let that cheese melt uh, the another another interesting note about this grill is is when you're finished cooking on it if you're carrying it with you somewhere where you're going to need to load it back up in the car and take it home you don't want to load it hot so when you're finished with your charcoal if you dump your charcoal into a safe place where it's not going to create a fire or anything once that char once that hot charcoal's out of this grill this grill will cool back down to a comfortable temperature in 10 or 15 minutes it does not take it long at all to cool down so uh, keep that in mind uh, it, it makes it really easy to take it with you somewhere and not have to worry about loading a hot grill it cools very quickly so that's going to wrap up our cook here and our video review of the Weber Go Anywhere charcoal grill this is a charcoal model obviously uh, for those of you lightweights out there who don't like cooking on charcoal they do make a propane model of this that uses the one pound propane canisters uh, which might make it even easier for you uh, to cook uh, obviously I like charcoal if you've been following me for any length of time and that's the only way I cook so keep all that in mind and if you're in need of a portable charcoal grill or just a small charcoal grill I highly recommend this guy He's, it's fantastic it cooks phenomenally well and uh, I couldn't uh, recommend a better portable grill so until next time man cave meals